Hello, world. Welcome to Eat with Keith. We're doing it, everybody. Oh, are you guys hungry for dinner? I sure am. It is a wonderful Thursday. Thanks for joining me. We got lots of people over here watching. We got 85, 100 of y'all joining in. Hello, everybody. Hi to the people here from Canada. <laughs> there's people here from Indiana. I'm so sorry. And there's people here from other places, too. It's great to see you. I'm feeling good. Guys, today's Eat with Keith is sponsored. We did it. We did it, everybody. <laughs> Can you believe this? And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They're just as happy to have me as I am happy to have them. Today's Eat with Keith is brought to you by Noodles and Company. Uh, it is a place I visited a ton when I lived in the Midwest. The only reason I don't visit it a ton now is that the closest one to me is an hour away. But today we actually have Noodles and Company in our kitchen. They're cooking up their pastas fresh. It's going to be the freshest I've ever had any food on any of these eating shows, so I'm psyched. And really today is talking about the uncommon goodness of Noodles and Company. They have such uh, great food. It's I'm legitimately psyched about this. They've got stuff that's healthy. They've got stuff that's indulgent. They've got dishes that are classic. And everything is super customizable, so it fits really any kind of dietary restrictions or just what you want to eat. You can change out the noodles, change out the protein, change out the sauce. It's totally customizable for you. It's a real treat. Yeah, we're all in for a real treat today. I'm psyched. I'm re Can you tell how excited I am? Plus, we got some great guests. You got a lot of your old favorites. We got some new faces as well. And I also want to talk about the uncommon goodness of Nudism Company, the company. Uh, truly, it's great to partner with a company that is awesome. They have so many wonderful things. They're like, they won an award for being one of the best companies uh, in 2021 uh, as a workplace for women, for diversity. They ha have been voted one of America's favorite restaurants. They have great paternity leave. Leave. They have great adoption help. They have great like immigration help. Like they are just truly a wonderful company for their employees. It's great to be able to like like a restaurant for the food, but it's even better to love a restaurant for the restaurant themselves. Rachel, there's even more things, right? Well, I was just we were chatting about it before, and I was floored because they have like a phase in, phase out maternity program. They will ship your breast milk for corporate travel for you. They do paid paternity leave. They have adoption, surrogacy financing. They have school financing. I just think like that's like stuff we really get behind. I, I really love it, you know. Food for thought there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and food for food. Uh, it's pretty sick. They're really great. I'm so excited to eat their stuff today. We've got lots of food to get through. And we're going to start off with some of their, uh, their appetizers, right? That, I don't have the menu over here. Normally, I have a menu that I've referenced, but I don't today. But we've got all the stuff cooking in. It's going to come in. We'll have some guests. But first, I have to eat by myself. And why don't we talk to the chat real quick? Who we got in here? We got, we got Michelle Mom 7474 <laughs> I love this. Congrats on the sponsorship. Here's $5. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Please don't give me money. Uh, I'm being paid. <laughs> this is sponsored. Please don't give me money. Um, but uh, thanks for being here. Thanks. To, who else we got? We got Circus staying high. We've got P Pocky in my pocket. Hilarious. We've got Mark Dell uh, saying Tsunami Sam. We've got all these people uh, saying hey, hey in the top chat. But also we got Elliot's here. We got Gwyneth here. We got Liz here. We got Sarah. We got Luke. We got Cinnamon. <laughs> Someone named Cinnamon. Uh, these are probably just a username. We got lots of people. The, the chat's going crazy. I can't keep up. It. And we got 10,000 people having dinner together right now. But let's start off with the cheesy bread. Yes. And I had an idea. If You're not on a microphone. Really good. Yeah. Can you kiss your face? Oh, when the food's really good, I'll kiss my face. This is specifically, though, what's it? This is the cheesy garlic bread. Uh huh. Wow. Wow. It smells so good. This one's definitely categorized under the indulgent category. They have healthy, indulgent, and classic. This is both classic and indulgent. Oh, wow. Oh, the bread feels so good. The cheese is stretching, the garlic. Oh. This is the first Eat the Menu where the food is fresh. I know. The food has never been this fresh. Whoa. It's so fresh, it's jumping all over the place. So this is the cheesy garlic bread. If you have the cheesy garlic bread at home, hold it up, tear it apart, <laughs> shove it in your nose. Oh, it makes you fly a little bit, doesn't it, everybody? The steam lifts you like a hot air balloon. Your nose is the balloon, and the dish is the little basket that flies through the sky underneath that hot air, that bag of hot air. We're all kind of bags of hot air, aren't we? Our lungs are. Let's have a taste, the cheesy garlic bread. Mm. Wow. Mm. 
I mean, come on. Cheese, garlic, bread, like those are things America was founded on. They were brought over from another country, but we founded ourselves on them too. <laughs> you know? Wow. Dang, that's good. I'm going to try it without the sauce, actually, just to try it. It all smells so good, too. It smells like the classic. In some ways, it reminds me of the classic garlic bread you'd get frozen bacon in your home, but it actually is slaps like crazy. But it, it's better than that. It's fresher. The bread is, like, very flaky and buttery. Mm. I'm the luckiest boy in the world. I feel like a lucky guy. It's been a busy week, y'all. Let me tell you about it. We've been shooting a storm of videos, and I've been hosting all of them. <laughs> so if you're somebody who's here, but you're not the biggest fan of me, the channel's not going to be your favorite place. <laughs> don't say that. Because I'm all over this channel, baby. I don't think they're here, and they don't like me. Unless they're hate-watching, and that's sort of a thing that they like. Which, um, I hope that's not the case. I hope you like me. I like you. I like you. This is really good garlic bread. Yeah, it smells <laughs> it's incredible. It's really good. And it leaves that little bit of like oily Parmesan crumminess on your, mm, on your fingertips. You know, you said if I really liked it, I, would, I should do something special. Oh, I really like it. Give me just a bit. <laughs> Can't quite reach it, but I, gave my, I got as close as I could to my cheek. Mm. 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 Now I get to watch it. I see the delay. Yeah, that was hot, Keith. You're so cute. <laughs> yeah, you, you may have to get out of your chair and scoot back to kiss him. I might have to scoot back to really plant one on him. Mm. Mm. I really wish I could eat this whole little thing of garlic bread by myself, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna relinquish this to the rest of the people out there who I know will love it just as much. And we're gonna get ready for our first guests. Are you ready, audience? Let me see some. Um, I don't know, are there noodle emojis? Are, is some, whatever the closest pasta or noodle emoji, throw them in the chat. Let me see some pasta. Let's rain some pasta. Let the pasta rain. Let the pasta rain. Let the pasta rain. Here comes the pasta. No, it's not here yet. You guys are behind. You're delayed, but uh, there it is. There's the pasta. <laughs> Spaghetti. Um, we're going to keep on eating some appetizers. And we're gonna have Lou Burger come in and join us. Now, if you don't know about Lou Burger, you're lying. <laughs> you know who Lou Burger is. You know. We're besties. We make music together, and here they are. And of course, we will have appetizers, but in true Lou Burger fashion, they brought me something as well. Let's bring them out here, Lou Burger! Lou Burger, Lou Burger, here we are, we're Lou Burger. Over here, it's over there. There's a chair over here and a table right there. What's this table for, Keith? It was the computer, and then I moved the computer to get a better spot, and then the table stayed. Just oh, blocking the, there. <laughs> the animated Keith face, but sitting next to the real animated Keith it's face. Nice. Let me, I want to see once the, the, the uh, yeah, look, you're like right in front of my face. It's nice. That's I'm nice. used to coming here when the table is disgusting. Yeah, you're here first. <laughs> oh, how oh. the tables have turned. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank you. But before we get to that, it's time, time for, for everyone's, everyone's favorite segment. segment. Alex, Alex brought, brought some googles to the, the all-you-can-kugel. Kugel the kugel time. time. Kugel! We'll get there. Kugel! Right. Yeah. We'll oh, get wow. I have <laughs> never seen a kugel like that, and I have been eating kugel for 34 years. Now, a, a fun tradition of eat with Keith, as we all know, is me not bringing anything to serve the baked good with, and Keith just diving in oh, yeah. hand first. I forgot about and that. in true, Kugly. No, that's no action. way to eat Kugly. Yeah, the poor Kugel, the poor Kugel. But be surely would right. be rolling in her grave. You're right not now. wrong. So let's. Let give you this. I'll tell you what. Um, so could you guys Thank explain you. anyone who doesn't know what Kugel is? I know what it is. Ah. Um, but what is Kugel? Well, noodle Kugel is a Jewish delicacy. It's an Ashkenazi it's, Jewish delicacy. That's, that's right. the Jews that come from lastly Europe in our mm -hmm. great journey. Uh -huh. That's true. It's a sweet noodle dish. Usually it's got some kind of custard involved in the actual noodle portion. This and this so much brown sugar on top. Oh my god, I've never it, that it, much. It's almost it's, like you made a like a soda slushy. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, it's like soda slush from a slush fountain. <laughs> the recipe said put it evenly on top. Wow. That looks and good though. It did. Here's it's, the thing about noodle kugel, y'all. It's a sweet dish. You, it's made with noodles. People often see it and think, expect it to be savory. It's a sweet dish. It's, it's a, a little dessert savory. Dessert pasta. It yes. is a little savory. Think of what if your coffee cake 
had noodles in it. Yeah, yeah that's a good way that's to think really, about it. And smells like really good. Smells coffee. good. Oh, that it's so funny. Yeah, really that I can good. smell the noodles too. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Let's try that's the kugel. That's pretty fun. Dude, <laughs> that's really good. You have outdone yourself, bro. That's pretty good. Kugel. Yeah, really I'm really good. happy with that, and I didn't put raisins in it. I know you might have liked that, but I hate raisins, and it's disgusting and kugel. That is I'm really sorry. good, man. I'm I impressed. saw a video of somebody deep frying raisins this morning. I was like, that seems fun. Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, let's get this out of here and get to the real action. Mm. Yeah. Well, good job, that Alex. Good Thanks. Good job. Really Thanks, guys. Oh, we can just put it here. You don't have to be in charge of the kugel. If, if you've ever had, that be your if job? you've ever had kugel, light up the chat with um, blue hearts. K U G E L. If, blue hearts. And if blue you haven't, or if you haven't, uh, you do a green heart. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, that nice cold yeah. tone. Chewy, mm. people dig the outfit. Oh, mm. thanks, everyone. You look cool. Thanks. You look like you're like, um, you know, in a '70s music video. Oh, thank you so you much. I look. got these earrings from my brother Avery. Mm. Necklace from my wife. This Fair shirt. Nice. You know, I'm just yeah. doing the thing. Yeah, thanks, it looks everyone. good. You you look a little bit like look, you're ready to join the Muppets band. Look how beautiful hearts are. Oh. Oh, look at all these people who've eaten kugel before. And all these people who haven't had kugel before. But it kind of seems even. It does yeah, seem it does. even. Now That's there's more green. Okay. <laughs> now there's, yeah, there's more green. But you know there's a lot of blue. And some pink. We that. Oh. All right. What is the pink mean? Let's dive into some of these meatballs. I'm we excited. We got ourselves some Korean barbecue meatballs. Mm -hmm. That's what they are, correctly. That's the title. I don't have the menu, but I'm pretty sure yeah, that's what yeah, they yeah. are. They are pot stickers and Korean barbecue meatballs. I'm telling you. Yeah. These look that's really good. good. They are covered in beautiful glistening. Yeah, this looks good. I love barbecue this because mm. oftentimes meatballs, they put pork in. Right. And I love when they have a meatball that doesn't have pork, so... Mm. You know, I can enjoy it. I forgot it. to not eat it. Oh, it smells Alex, you really good. Yeah. Well, you already took a bite? You now, ate the whole thing? Well, guess what, Alex? <laughs> now you don't get to share this beautiful moment with our fans that Huey and I do. Well, our right. first bite. Everyone, if you've got the meatballs, put it on your fork. Spell your name out <laughs> in cursive in the air. Wow. <laughs> G T A dot that I E. Why do I always forget? When will I learn? And now bring the train into your mouth. Chuck it, 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 choo choo. Man, I really wanted to be a part of this. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Wow. Wow. They are good. That's nice. Mmm. I'm actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go in for seconds. I might also have a second one. That's really nice. It's good. It's sweet. It's salty. Mmm. Got great texture. Mmm. Chews easily, but it, it's, it doesn't like just disintegrate like a like a super loose meatball. Mm, mm -hmm. It's got a nice bind. It does. Mmm. I'm I'm digging that. I'll go for round two. I do like the noodles has a good variety of flavors. It's a noodle mm. place, and you think, oh, it's a pasta place. Like, no, it's a noodle place. Right. Like they have different you know types of noodles. Right. It's really a good sampling of a lot of different like cuisines. And in the Midwest, it was. Especially awesome for me in high school because there were so many options I could customize. Like, mm. I could put steak on my mac and cheese. <laughs> wow. You give this 16 year old that kind of power, <laughs> and they turn into someone like this. Oh, God. <laughs> I've actually never eaten at Noodles and Co., but yeah, we have become either. Twitter besties. Mm. So, you know, love their social media game. And so far, I'm a fan. Yeah, I, you know, as an LA native, uh, I don't think that I, I know there is an Ann Noodles somewhere around here now, but this is Noodles and Company. Noodles and Company. You don't even know what it's called. Well, why did Come I call on. it Ann Noodles? I don't know. It was really fun. Though. As you can see, I'm very new. Yeah. Noodles yeah. and Company. Hey Keith. Yeah. I'm wondering if you could sing a meatball song. Ooh, we sure could. Yeah. We actually wrote a meatball song. Did you? Oh yeah, yeah we did. Yeah, we did. Like, right. some, it's like that duo. I actually song. play percussion. Mm -hmm. And I do bum 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 now you may be thinking that song sounded like it was in mixed meter. Well, mm. it was because it's a meatball. Oh, so mixed meter. Damn. We, we weren't. Fork. We weren't off rhythmically. It was mixed meter. <laughs> so, 
It was actually a perfect execution of a complex time signature. Yeah. Anytime you think we've done something stupid, it's actually, it's actually super incredibly smart. It's so, so smart. smart. All right, mm. let's have the pot stickers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, at, I love pot stickers. And this yeah. pot sticker sauce, it's got some little chili flake I'm in it. Stoked. Can you see how it, it looks? looks good. It looks really see good. It? It's hard for me to, I don't want to tilt the bowl and pour the sauce everywhere, but I want you to see it. I, I kind of want you to pour the sauce. No, no, no. Are you want me to just douse it? I mean, I'll douse let's... half. One half. Okay. And then we'll oh, dip the other half. Nice. You know? Nice. Perfect. Just for presentation. Little bottom dip. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it does. It smells good. The chili uh, yeah. oil, like soy sauce or whatever this dip is, I think it's actually called pot sticker sauce. Uh. Even like everywhere they call it pot sticker sauce. Mm -hmm. There's probably some combination of other sauces. Mm. Grab yourself a pot sticker. I'm going to wait till last to curb myself from my tendencies. Yeah, uh. I'm eating it too quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have a pot sticker at home? Get it. Get it all saucy and then Ooh. spell your name and curse. Yeah, spell your name and curse. And if, for bonus points, if you're like me, try to put it as the shape of a oh, smile yes. into your mouth. Okay. Like like a like a children's toy. <laughs> this shape goes into this shape hole. Okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't see the monitor, so I see how it looks. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, my God. That is not the taste I was expecting. Oh my word. It's good though. That's really good. Mm. It is good. Oh, it can taste like a scallion. No. Yeah. Very green. It's mm -hmm. a green flavor. Right, yeah. I was it say, is like, a green it has, flavor. The herbs are the freshness. Mm -hmm. I don't normally expect freshness from no. my pots. No. That's not what I no. would be thinking. It's... Oh, a little spice in there, mm -hmm. too. I love, I love the love little that. amount of spice. And it's I... like a little sour, a little salty, mm -hmm. a little spicy. Mm -hmm. I sort of want to try one without the sauce now, just to see like what the base is. I think these like. need to go up in the sky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, Except yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like a little puppet show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm so I hope I don't get eaten. Oh, me too. <laughs> no. no, we're just happy living in the sky. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm going to get a little more hot huh, huh, huh. Oh, no. Don't, don't drink it. Switch what are you to the doing? Side. Switch to the side camera, Jack. You just missed oh, no. it. Hold on a second. Oh, no. Hold on a second. <laughs> Huey just drank the sauce from the thing. I mean, when you have good sauce, why wouldn't you just take it down the gullet? Mm-hmm. Now, we know a thing or two about good sauce around here, don't we? Uh. <laughs> what? What do you mean, Keith? You know, like my hot sauces. Oh. I don't have my hot sauces here today because this food doesn't need to be improved, baby. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. Is this water for me? Yeah. Thank you, Rachel. And Keith. I'm yeah. going for a third meatball. I just did. Another meatball. Mm. Wow. So, <laughs> Uber, tell me what's going on with you guys right now. Cute. Hoodie. Wow, this old thing? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about it, as you can tell, since I wore it last week on your podcast, and again here now, yeah. because we're promoting The Wizard of Friendship, our off-Broadway musical. Now, listen up, guys. We only have about 60 tickets for the musical left. It's true. It's I, true. I, I, I mean, you got to get them soon, or you're not going to come. That's just how things work. But if you do miss out on the musical, come you to can the come concert. to the concert. The concert's going to be great, y'all. We... Tour the country doing basically the concert, but actually what we're gonna do in New York is gonna be better Style because up, we're doing it off-Broadway, so. And there's like really cool projections that Keith's been working his butt off on. They're yeah. really, it's, it's been awesome. I bought a laser for the show. Turns out the laser was a class four laser and it could hurt people, so mm -hmm. I'm not using the laser. Not using the <laughs> Remember laser, the tripod when I was like, what? Laser, I we're using a laser? It turns out, after more research and the 30-day permit process through the FDA, I decided maybe no, and I would have to the put food up. Food and Drug Administration? Yeah, I know. Why? I, was, I don't know. I was going to have to put up so many signs that says, warning radioactive laser exposure. No. And I was like, no. that's not going to make people comfortable. It's, Even if it doesn't hit them, no one wants to see that kind of sign. It's so, the type of laser that can engrave things. Now I own a laser, and I don't know what to do about it. And it, it sort of it scare, it scares me. No. It scared me. <laughs> it scares me. Home it's scary. I played with it twice, and I'm not sure if it was legal to do that. But I didn't take it outside, so that was good. Anyhow, let's stop talking about the laser, because I don't know how legal it is for me to talk about it. Let's talk about the noodles and company food that we I are really loving right now. I gotta tell right you, it now. was really delicious. Mm -hmm. It was great. Honestly, the spice is built nicely, I'm where I can it. feel it, but mm -hmm. it's, I'm not crying. Yeah. And yeah. you know me. I'm a crier. Yeah. He cries yeah. all the time. Yeah, the, the flavor is actually still evolving in my mouth, which I love. Mm -hmm. I also drank the sauce right down. Like it was a yeah. beverage. It was so it. good. Mm. I recommend. Do you want some trivia? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Trivia. Okay. This is not for noodles and company, but just in the world. How many different types of noodles are there? 
How many oh, different wow. types of noodles exist in the world? Uh -huh. Wow. Are we are we including an estimation just knowing that we can't possibly know all of the noodles in the world? Well, like give I, or take 200 types? I think it's going to be... Price is right rules? 1,317. Okay, what do you think, Hugh? Wow, Rachel's look makes it seem like that really was the right answer, I but I was going to say 542. All right, well, I'm going to go 1,000... What did you say? I'm not going to tell you. So oh, tell you. you can't oh, price this right now. It's not that easy. Okay, 1,000... I'll, I'll go 1,300. 1,300? I was 1,317, so that's awesome for me. Oh, wait, no. Uh, too, late. Too, late. too late. Locked it in. Too late. Locked it in. Too late. Um, well, Huey is our winner. Wow! Because there are 350 types. There's only 350 types. La, 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 that can't be true. La, 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 I Googled it, too. That can't be true. That actually is kind of a lot, if you think about I mean, it. La, la, la. I know, but there's like, so many colors. What is it? official types, Thank but you. I, I Thank guess you. you could go home and invent a new What is it, like macaroni? Yeah, I can invent a new I can Thank invent you. infinite new Guys, guys, yeah. guys, before we two. even gave our guesses, I tried to account for everything you're accounting for now, but we didn't do it, so we just have to play by Rachel's rules. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Huey's the big winner. <laughs> What does he win? And, and what do I win? The ability to juggle Google. meatballs! Yay! Google. Google for you. Yay. Well, anything else you guys want to promote while you're here before you head on out of here? Yes. Many of you know I have a nonprofit. It's called the Arts Project Syracuse. We are bringing arts education to under-resourced kids in my hometown of Syracuse, New York. Please check us out. There's lots of ways to get involved. The kids, the city, they need our help. We need you. And thank you to everyone who's been supporting us. I really appreciate it. Hell yeah. Well, make sure you follow these guys on the internet. Check out what they're sure. doing. Check out Lou Burger. If you're in New York, come and see us when we're there in a, in a month and a half. It's coming up soon, It's coming up it's real soon. Too soon, soon we'll, if we're we'll really we'll No one's soon. stressed about it, but no. thanks for dropping by and eating. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, you, you know what? It. Something about this food is just making me feel so folky. Just so folky, and that's wow. well, maybe all we'll, that I can say about that. If you're bored, Hugh, maybe I could wash you off. Oh, you're going to wash me off? Maybe. Well, I'm going to have to... Consult the board of affairs. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I think about that. It might mean they're going to work on a little something and bring it back Thanks and put on a little show for us later. And I think they dropped a lot of non uh, non subtle hints on what instrument they might utilize in that song. Anyway, we're going to clear these things away. I'm going to use this little napkin to clean up some of the spillage we got from Huey's sippage. And we're going to bring in our next guests and move on to our next course, which I believe are some of the healthy items. You know, put the healthy stuff first. And nutrition say to fill up on the healthy things before you have your indulgent things so that you don't have a ton of room left to eat all those heavy things. But what is next? Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the, the lean guini, right? Yeah, Heck this is yeah. The impossible lean guini. This is impossible. Everything's fine. Everything's no. Well, I, 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 got, I got frazzled. I got frazzled. Can I have that? Yeah, you can have the fork. You? I'm going to need it. It was. I'm going to need a new fork, too. I'm frazzled, guys. I got frazzled. A lot of things just oh, happened real quick. And can you say hi to Goosey? Hi, Goosey. Is that like a toy of one of your daughters? Okay, hi Goosey. Rachel was just crawling someone on the floor. The chat, someone in the chat. chat. Hey, someone in the chat. We got Huey Highlighter. People love Huey's Highlighter. We love it as well. Thanks so much for participating, by the way. Thanks for being here. Have I said that enough? Thanks for being here. Thanks for letting me do stuff like this. This is so fun. Also, I want to let you know, we're going to do another Eat With Keith when we're in New York. I don't know how successful it'll be technically because it'll just be us manning the ship out there. It'll be wild and fun, but join us. It'll be a special one. But anyway, you're here now. We're eating now, and joining me now on the Eat with Keith table stage. You've seen him a long time ago. Now it's time to see him again. Roman Cam from Dorm Damon. Get him in here. Get on in here. Yeah. Jump in here. Yeah. Let Ooh. me bring my chair. I, bring you know, your chair. BYOC. Hello, yeah. Keith. We love you, man. We're, we're, we're glad excited to be here, to man. I'm so excited you're here. Oh, Throwing man. some more garbage on the floor. Hey, try. Hey, try, family. Hey, try, guys. And try, gals. <laughs> All right, here we are, hanging out, having a good time. We got some different things we'll try. Let's put these in front of us first. The this boys are back. Okay, okay. That one's for you. This Ooh. is for him. We got two dishes oh, you each oh, are going to have. Oh, okay, okay. delicious. Yeah, so we've got... Do you want me to tell you, or you got it? I think I know. Well, one of them is the ling, lean guini. Mm, but with, what, what is the With flavor? impossible chicken. With impossible chicken. Lean guini. And then zucchini pesto. And mm. the boys have impossible chicken, and you have chicken chicken. I have chicken chicken. Bok, bok, bok. <laughs> It's something about pesto. It's just <sighs> pesto is great on everything. Yeah. Have you ever made your own pesto? Once. Yeah. yeah. How'd it go? Um, 
once. Yeah. 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 I, I, <laughs> we used to have, we used to grow basil in our garden before we gave up on the garden and let it just turn to nothing. Mm. And there's, there's just one big rosemary plant and the rest of it's weeds. And you know what I've said? Ah, I'm helping this land turn back to the nature it's supposed to be. So the you, these are local plants. Pesto they're not weeds. They're local plants. Pesto to me is like getting an unexpected check in the mail. It's just always a good day. It's a good always day. Yeah, yeah. A good day. So you're not a good plant dad. No. Okay. I'm gotcha. bad plant. So don't bring my plants to your house. <laughs> no. Okay. Don't bring cool. Me plants. Cool. Because cool. I'll, I'll have to. I'll have to put them outside. Because so many of the plants you want to keep in your house, they're toxic to cats. Mm -hmm. And when I just had Alfred, he had no interest in the plants. We had lots of toxic plants. So that's gotcha. why they're no scared problems. of cucumbers. Yeah. Well, that's because of their their snake fear. You know that? Mm -hmm. know that. They're afraid of cucumbers because apparently there used to be a big beef between <laughs> snakes and cats. Gotcha. And snakes okay. see cu or cats see cucumbers as snakes. Well, guess what? Yeah. Today, cat ain't got my tongue, but noodles do. Hell yeah! yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's start with. Okay, let's start. What well, do you want to start with? The pesto. We've the talked pesto. so much about the pesto. Yeah, got to go All right, pesto. so the pesto we're having zoodles, mm. zucchini noodles, mm. zucchini, the cousin of the cucumber. Okay. And I, I, jury's out if cats are afraid of zucchinis. They have that little crown. <laughs> Which mm. probably makes it more more or less not a snake. Yeah, um, these, all right, so get are... yourself a nice bite. Okay, I've got right, the, the chicken. Go. You guys got the impossible chicken. Okay, impossible Everyone chicken. at home who has pesto mm. or the zoodles or a combination of both, hold it up. Don't eat it yet. Oh. Damn. No, he didn't eat it. Mm. Okay, great. Yeah. Because mm. we like to have, all, we like to share our bites with the audience at the same time. Oh, come on, audience. The oh. joy here is that all of us mm. are all over this country, all over this world, and we're about to take a simultaneous bite. Mm. Isn't a it beautiful? Bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're mm. constantly breaking world records. Mm. Mm. This is the biggest simultaneous bite of Zoodles mm -hmm. ever. It's never happened before. It's never It'll happened never like happen this. Again. Remember mm -hmm. that. It's never happened like this. All right. So, mm -hmm. hold your Zoodles up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cam, say something for us. Mm -hmm. He's. Mm -hmm. He goes mute sometimes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Got my tongue. <laughs> All right, let's try the zoodles. Right. Here we go. Mmm. 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 -hmm. You know what that tastes like? When you go into a movie with no expectations, mm -hmm. then it blows you away. Blows oh. away. It's like Top Gun 2. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's solid. Solid. This is, Tom this is really good. Mm. Wow. Patrick! This is really good. Mm. Zoodle. Mm. This is an action scene for my taste buds. A caboodle of zoodles. I got to tell you, mm. if they could turn more vegetables into noodles, mm. you could trick me into eating so many more vegetables. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. think your cat would be scared of these. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, my cat would eat them. <laughs> I don't know if cats can eat zucchini. But, I mean, let's ask the chat. Chat, sure. do you guys know if cats yeah. can eat zucchini? Can cats eat zucchini? We'll have to look back in about expert. 30 seconds. Okay. The only answer is in about that much mm. time. Well, while we're mm -hmm. eating and enjoying these doodles, what has That's been going good. on with you guys? How you doing? Oh, we're, we're great. doing great. Yeah, we're doing we're doing great. Uh, we're we're just we're just filming. Um, you know, we're we're growing the sunglasses company. I know about um, it. Shady yeah, side yeah, up. Shady side. Shady side up. up. Great you know, sunglasses. You know what? I just remembered that. <laughs> come on, you know, every time we come here, we don't come empty-handed. What? Uh, well, for the for the fans who are eating the zoodles with us, guess what? If you go to ShadySideUp.com, just for Keith, if you type in Keith 30. Are you kidding me? Guess what? You get 30% off. Are you kidding me? We, we, we did that for you. That's hilarious. We did that for you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I love being a discount code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is great. This is really Chat good. Chat is real divided on zucchini and cats. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We don't know? People say it's harmless. People say you shouldn't. People well, say, yes, cats can. People say, no zucchini cats. for life. And then they say, don't give those to cats. Is it because those people want all the zucchini for themselves? Hmm. Google says in moderation, I'm someone says. Do you ever cook zucchini? Yeah. No, I can hear you. You know, I've never been able to make a good zoodle whenever I make them. Yeah. They just turn into zoop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not zucchini soup. 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 But, I, uh, soup. but I, I like grilling zucchini a lot. Everything's better grilled. It's so good. And, and zucchini, like, because it can't, it has so much water. Grilling, though, like, I think does made it to get some char on it and give it more texture. Uh, but I love grilled zucchini. I love to cut it right down the middle, hot dog style. Oh, man. Oil them up face down on the grill. You know what? We have a theory that anytime yeah. you cut anything in half, it tastes better. Yeah. 
It just it just it just tastes better. Yeah, it is it because you go into the middle first and it's I just think the, the middle is always the best part of any meal. Like any sandwich, the middle tastes middle better. meal. Eat Everything the middle is, and out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what about be good. when the sandwich is made and then cut in half, and then your first bite is the middle, but then there's a middle within that middle. What middle is the superior see, middle? See, now you're going to the multiverse of yeah. sandwich middles. Yeah, yeah. that's right. a question yeah. for the chat. Yeah. Yeah. I got a question. For I think us. we're going to be middling on this answer yeah. for quite some time. <laughs> oh, I see what you did. <laughs> Not Malcolm in the middle, but Keith is. I like that show. <laughs> you are the middle of the sandwich. You I am the middle of the sandwich. You are. Oh, yeah. You're the best part. Yeah. Wow. Well, how about that? I'm, I'm mindlessly eating these noodles because they're really good. I will never stop really until you stop. Let's, let's switch over to the lean guini. Now, this is, uh, this is a noodle that they came up with. It is a low carb, high protein noodle. Mm. Um, and it's a linguine. Okay. But it's a lean guini. And we've got the impossible chicken with it. And I think, I'm not sure if this is the Tuscan preparation or what preparation this is. Um, but it looks really healthy. It's got spinach, it's got tomatoes, it's got some Parmesan. We, we got the I'm not going to jump yeah. the gun this time. I, what I like to do is I like to hold them up high. Okay, hold them up high. I like to hold them up high. Like a little lion And then you style? see on the monitor, they're, oh, yeah. they're flying. Mm. I think it's called oh, rosa, okay. so I think it's a red sauce. Oh, it's rosa. Okay, okay. it's okay. rosa. So we're flying. We're rosa. in first class. You got you to get them up higher. You got to get it way higher. Okay, we're in first class. We're, we're flying. Okay, here comes the steward. It's like, what are you guys eating? We eating rosa? Rosa. Okay. All right. A tender rosa. Okay. Bring it into your mouth. Let's all eat it. Mm-hmm. 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 Mmm. That's good, too. Mmm. It's very fresh. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's mm -hmm. a little bit of heat on something in there. And I, I don't little, mind a little spice. I don't I mind either. Like I think that's on the impossible. Is it? Yeah. It possibly could be hot. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> it's our, I, I have a very low spice talent, so when you hear me say, like, oh, there's a little kick, it's a teeny kick. Like that, a, that's me, too. Like a little, like a little bird kicked you. Because I'm a sweater. I'm yeah. a sweater as well. Sweater, yeah, yeah. I don't like spice where I got to get undressed to eat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if I'm undressed while I'm eating, then it's too hot. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> we need to make a really spicy yeah. restaurant and call it close off. Yeah. 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 We need yeah. to make that? Yeah, we need to make that. <laughs> we need to make that. <laughs> we need to make that. With these noodles, because these noodles are great. And, like, the spice meter on the menu just says, no shirt. <laughs> yeah, no shirt. Like, no pants. No pants. <laughs> no <laughs> nothing left. <laughs> nothing left. In the optimate, no underwear. <laughs> That's really, I do way. like the subtle heat. I love the spinach and the tomatoes. It is super fresh. Mm -hmm. It definitely tastes healthy. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. sometimes you want stuff that tastes healthy. Like, I'm often at lunch really trying to seek out healthy lunches mm -hmm. and pasta. You know, this is great because it tastes kind of indulgent and kind of healthy at the mm -hmm. same time. I think lunch is one of those meals in our industry where we have to go looking for it because we're moving around during that time. Mm -hmm. I know. We're moving around. Brother. You, you, you need a good on-the-go lunch. Yeah. This would be a good on-the-go. I, yeah. I packed this But the up. funny thing about L.A., I'm surprised people eat lunch because they usually eat brunch. They eat such a late breakfast. That's true. Why are they even hungry? That's true. Because most well, things don't open until 11. That's the weekend 11. vibe, though. You know, uh -huh. the weekend is brunch time. Okay. Weekday is lunch time. Gotcha. I'm surprised Leonard's never really taken off. Yeah, Leonard, Leonard, no. Nah. Leonard, Leonard, chicken dinner. There was yeah. Leonard Skinner, but totally but different yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Leonard, or, or, or Dunch. Uh, uh, Dunch. <laughs> now, now, Dunch sounds like it should be in, in, in England somewhere. Dunch! <laughs> Join me for some <laughs> Dunch! Some Dunch. <laughs> I miss lunch, but not ready for dinner, yeah, so let's yeah. go to Dunch. I need dunch. some Dunch. Yeah, yeah. Dunch, yeah. Dunch could work. Tea and Dunch. I'm not mad at Dunch. It but Dunkin' Donut like... may sue you, because it's a little close. Yes, yeah, it's a little mm, Dunch and Dunkin'. Hmm. Mm. It's really good. I'm having a great time. You ate too much for yeah. how far we I have I forgot. I keep forgetting that there's so much more food to eat, but I, I'm very hungry, because yeah. I don't eat a lot before these, because I know I'm going to yeah. eat a lot during these. Well, this is your dunch. This is your dunch. I'm, I'm, I'm dunching. Yeah, you're dunching. <laughs> munching munching and dunching. Munching and dunching. Munching and dunching. Munching and dunching. Wine and dine, munching and dunching. Munch. <laughs> uh, we got some trivia. Oh, I'm bad for trivia. It's hard, but you're just going to have to give me your best guess, okay? Okay. okay. In 2018, oh, the company attempted to set a world record. What yeah. were they trying to do? Oh, they, trying to do? they were trying, trying to make to, the longest noodle. Yeah, they were trying to tie The ties. longest one connected noodle. It's either, the camp thing. it's either that I think they were trying to tie the most shoes with noodles in America. Yeah. Uh, I, mm. I yeah. think they were trying to feed as many cats zucchini mm. as they could. Mm. All right. All of us are right. None of you are right. Okay. Keith I expect is that. the closest. Mm, that's Keith. shocking. <laughs> so at a point, they were trying to set the world record for zucchini spiralized using a stationary bike in one minute. Mm. That's how you make 
zoodles, spiral okay. ice cream. On a bike? On a on bike. A, well, n- no, you don't have to make them on a bike. You oh, I was about to say, I'm going to sign so up. They I'm were trying to do it with a bike. That's how they did it in the old country. Gotcha. <laughs> I was about to say, they need to collab with Peloton. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good like, that's a, that's Zucchini what, time. Like, zucchini, zucchini time. That's a new meaning to pedaling zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's, that's my favorite joke. That's <laughs> What else is new with you guys? How have you been? It's uh, how's your year so far? Year is actually great. really good. You know, yeah. everyone sets intentions for the new year. Mm-hmm. I like to start early, mm-hmm. so I don't feel like I'm just you know following a trend. So mm-hmm. it's been good. I gave up alcohol. Mm-hmm. I've been healthier. That's mm-hmm. great. And I'm ready to travel. Yeah, we're going to Bali in a couple months. Awesome. We'll explore Asia now. and Thailand. Yeah, so. you guys are such world travelers. I mean, You're also such healthy boys. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You're very inspiring. Oh, thank, thank you. I often yeah. think about. Sometimes I have thought like, what would they get? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You should think about that. What would what, what Kevin what Rome do? Kevin Rome do? Keep a, keep a send me a, a, a DM if he sees us working out doing something. He'll be like, good job, guys. I'll be like, wow. Yeah. wow that's, you're strong. That's, <laughs> one thing you know we won't get is if it's too spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, won't, won't, we, won't, we won't do that. Wow. I get why we get along so mm-hmm. well, mm-hmm. you know? The same spice tolerance. We've been getting along since Squad Wars. We really have. Long, yeah. long time, man. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's favorite show. Well, thanks for dropping by. It's great to see you. Make sure you follow these guys on the internet. What are your handles real quick? Just um, say them out loud. I think they have lower thirds. I roam a lot. Get it. And at Cam from DT. But the most important thing, can we take this with us? Yeah, yeah. take it okay. with you. Oh, cool. Here we go, guys. Take it on with you. We love you guys. Thank you. Make sure you check out these guys. They're hilarious. They're all over all the platforms. You can find them at Dorntainment, but find them on uh, their personal channels as well. They're great guys. All right, Keith. See ya. Bye. Good job moving that chair. I'll I'll hold my fork. Say thanks. Bye. You want to pass me as a drink? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Oh, your phone. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's right here. All right, great. This is mine. That's yours? Yeah. Oh. I think I already cleared your cup. Okay, they cleared the cup. Okay, cup gone. Don't you guys love seeing the nitty gritty in betweens? Us just deciding whose cup is whose. Who, where, where are we going next? Hey, what camera angle is that? What, 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 what camera angle are you using? What is this? What was that? <laughs> guys, come on now. <laughs> what is this? Wow, this looks good. Wow. How's it going? So good. How are you? Megan, thanks for joining us. Let me scoot over. Let's, right. let's split, split this perfectly like in the middle. This. Let me put this chair on the floor. Yeah, you don't need it anymore. No. It's us. Megan, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. Uh, could you introduce to our live audience who you are? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Megan Johnson. I work for uh, Noodles and Company, obviously. Yeah. I have this super dope shirt on. Yeah, but, it looks uh, cool. cool shirt, by I the way. Know, I know, it is very Probably cool. Probably one of the coolest yeah, shirts I've ever very seen. Cool. Um, I work in the training department, uh, so I, get, I go around and I open new restaurants. I've worked for Noodles for 12 years. Wow. So, yeah, it's pretty rad. Cool. It's a long time. Can make an accessory adjustment for me? Oh, yeah. Was that good? Is it too, too yeah. gangster? You, you look cool. You look too good? cool. It was Problem too is, cool. it's my show. All right. And you came in here looking way it was too cool. Too, it was too fire. So we got to okay. hide it. We got to bring sense. it back a little bit. Tone it down. Um, so you've been working for Noodles for 12 years? Yep. When you yep. came in here, you've been prepping everything. I was. I was in the back. Oh, and actually, Malia, um, who also helped us, she kicked me out of the kitchen. She's way too hardcore. So, wow. um, But, yeah, she definitely she is prepared. We have a Penny Rosa right here. You just actually ate the... Uh, the linguine version of right, it? Right, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So this is the traditional preparation, well, which is I, well, pretty dope. I love This is rigatoni or penne? This is penne. This is penne. It's, it's got the penne rosa ridges. with the parmesan crusted chicken, spinach, <sighs> mushrooms, tomatoes, all the magic. Okay, What's well, the rosa sauce? Because they were debating. Yeah, what so, is rosa? Well, it's um, Spanish for red. No, mm. but uh, <laughs> it's um, I it's it was a roja. Where did I is it? Isn't it rosa? I don't know. Maybe it, it is. It doesn't even matter. I don't speak Spanish. My Spanish is I bad. wish I did. It's really bad. <laughs> I, w- I took two years of Spanish, but in Tennessee, they taught it to me in junior high. Oh, so and then they bad. stopped in high school. And you know what happened? You stopped I, speaking Spanish. I got dumb. That makes sense. I got dumb. <laughs> I don't know about that. I did. I did. It's true. <laughs> I get um, dumber every day. <laughs> That's true, though. After 25, your brain doesn't grow anymore. You, you only get dumber. So last year? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Every every year. Every, every year. <laughs> yeah. No. A rosa. A rosa sauce. It's a. It's um. It's a cream sauce actually. So it's a. That's a, a little spicy, and um, I, it's a I, tomato I, sauce, and there's cream inside. It's pretty delightful. I said it was a little spicy, really? and everyone was like, "I don't know if it is." I'm like, "I think uh, it is." So Just you a little. were. I picked up on it. All right. I all like right. this Parmesan chicken. It looks really good. It also smells really good. It's Spanish for pink. The 
chat is telling us. Spanish oh. for pink? Well, of course, because it's, if it's a red and green sauce, it's a pink sauce. sauce. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Thank, Thank you, chat. Spanish. Yeah. Thank you, chat. We love you, Tessa. <laughs> we love you, Ruben. We love you, Candice. We love you, Ariana. We love you, Beverly. <laughs> all right, well, let's. Uh, we're all going right. to take a bite together. Everybody who has this at home, hold it up. I like that. We're we'll hold up a bite of whatever you're eating. We'll all take a bite together. Right. It's a unifying moment between you and us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers. Right. Mm. I like the extra sound effects of the chewing too. That's my it's favorite. It's not a sound effect. That's just that's <laughs> me. That's not. That's my sound, and not how I affect the world. <laughs> I do like this chicken a lot. It's bomb. Also, like penne pasta, a favorite of the Habersburger household. That makes sense. I love penne. I, it was like the most common noodle. Spaghetti was, you know common when we were all younger, and then when we were all like open to more noodles, it was penne all day. Well, this is like the sophisticated, right? You grow up with spaghetti and then all of a sudden the ridges are what's up. You get ridges when you're classy. They hold more sauce. Yeah. The tube element also holds more sauce. It's pretty um, amazing. Better surface area for more sauce and salt and flavor. This is really good. The it Parmesan is. chicken is actually very good. It's delightful. It's absolutely delightful. Mm. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I don't think they had this chicken the last time that I was eating here, but... They did, but I just don't think you were sophisticated enough to try it yet. You're right. I know. You're right, because I was almost so, always getting the yeah. mac and cheese with steak on it, or the stroganoff with steak on it. Oh. I was a beef boy. Well, cool part about this is the steak is going to blow your mind next time you get it, so it's pretty magical. <laughs> wow, that's huge. I know. Now, Megan, um, where are you from? Um, I live, I'm born and raised in Denver. I live in Denver. Um, it's where Colorado, or Colorado, Colorado is actually, but. Team Colorado! Yeah, yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Um, but Put some yeah, mountains in the chat. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if those, I don't know if there are mountain emojis. Is there a mountain emoji? I don't know. Yeah. We'll find out soon. Okay, cool. But yeah, <laughs> I uh, live in Denver, work, I ran restaurants in Denver for a long time, and now I travel around the country and just open new restaurants, so it's, it's pretty cool. And noodles. Is noodles from Denver originally? It is, yeah. Wow. So our, our main office is based in Broomfield. So Okay, cool. We all flew in this morning. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Just for me? Wow. Yeah, that's pretty legit. Golly, it makes you feel pretty special. Uh, right over those mountains. Yeah, it's yeah. rocky. It literally is rocky. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Quite literally. When yeah. you take off and land in Denver, you know, because it, it can get very turbulent sometimes. That's I know. True. But I like going to Denver. They got a big old Meow Wolf out there. Meow Wolf is cool. They got a bunch of other stuff. I, like, I think Denver's a really cool place. Also, my grandfather and my aunt live in Colorado. Oh, well, really? Well, my grandfather lived. He passed away. But he lived to 104. So I like to feel that's like he's still That's a long time. Alive. Yeah. Because that's just so long. <laughs> that's a very long time. Uh, but yeah, Colorado's cool. Well, Colorado's what else can cool. you tell me about noodles and about you? I want um, to know more well, you know? about you. I don't know. What, um, well, what, what's your favorite um, place to roller skate? Well, we, I mean, if anybody grew up in Denver, Skate City was the jam jam, right? Yeah. And it was one of those places that you go, and it's uh, it's weird now. As an adult, I thought it was very strange that there were no doors on the bathroom stalls, but that's what it was for a really long time. Do you know what I'm talking about, or no? no. That's, oh, okay. that's how you gave me a look. I don't know, but when we were kids, that's what it was. But, now, yeah. this maybe this is TMI while we're eating, but there is nothing more <laughs> hilarious than trying to be a boy standing up and peeing in roller skates and having the natural grade of the floor move you because that used to happen to me at our skating rink as a child and I was like uh oh I'm rolling I'm rolling I'm rolling I'm rolling here and then you have to figure out what to do I didn't have that problem which yeah is, I think it, it works out for me yeah it was specific yeah. it was something I encountered <laughs> and I remember the first time it happened I, I was panicking because I did not know how to control the situation. Also, this was a, unfortunately, it wasn't like a stall where I could put my hands out and stop myself. Yeah. There, it was like the toilet somehow was in the center of the room. When and, you were little. And there was like a drain in the bottom of the room, so like I, I assume they just hosed this bathroom off. I don't know. <laughs> but um, that, that's why it had a grade in the middle. Yeah. So I, I, I just was rolling away from the toilet. I think they're prepared. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Yeah, they it's knew that all these boys would roll away, so they yeah. had to hose this bathroom <laughs> down. Anyway, this is really great conversation while we're all eating delicious noodles. It is really uh, good. But thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thanks for flying in. Thanks to the whole team. Yeah, thank and you. And I know that this shirt, there's something special about this shirt, right? So um, these are special edition um, 
amazing. I'm hot as hell in it right yeah, now too. Warm. Okay, but <laughs> in general, they're special edition, and I think we're having a contest. Uh, so someone's gonna win some noodle swag, and it's this and like a really cool bucket hat. Yeah. I wasn't cool enough to actually wear the bucket hat, but it is gonna be hot. Yeah. Yeah. Very hot. So I think it's over on your guys' socials, yep. the Instagram. So head on over to the Noodles Instagram. Get see if you can get yourself one of these very exclusive. Yeah. There's like I think, I think maybe, there's like ten. There's really like ten yeah. of them. Yeah. I don't even get one. So <laughs> make sure you go over there and win one for me. And thanks so much, Megan, for yeah. dropping by. Thanks for the food. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, Megan. Say bye, Megan, everybody. Bye, everybody guys. Say bye, Megan. Light up the chat with bye, Megan. <laughs> I did recently see the movie Megan. Different Megan, same amount of fun. I loved that movie. It was a blast. It was so fun. I, if you haven't seen it, you gotta see it. It's worth its weight in gold. And now it, movies are projections, so technically they weigh nothing, but boy oh boy is it worth more than nothing. It's worth something, a lot. That's how much it's worth. Guess who else is worth a lot to me, emotionally? My buddy, Quazy James! What's up? What's up? How you doing? Hey. Oh, well, this, I love Hi. this energy. We'll give it a I normally really get you running in, oh. hooting and hollering. Today's we a get, new day. We got a calm Quazy. Today's a new day. Can we get a hashtag calm Quazy in the chat? What's up? Hashtag me. Calm Quazy. One moment. One time. What's up? How you doing? I am fantastic. Uh, how are you? you? You hungry? I am actually still hungry. Oh. I've been eating a lot of each one, but I'm still pretty hungry. Oh. And this is this the pesto cavatappi? It's cavatappi, but I can't tell what it is yet. Oh, look at that. Um, cavatappi. Cavatappi. Yeah. You say that 10 times fast. Cavatappi, 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 cavatappi. Pesto cavatappi. Pesto cavatappi with grilled chicken, <laughs> and then in a minute, roasted garlic cream tortellini. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, shoot. I love tortellinis. Little ears, they call them. Mm. What? Little ears. Mm. Tortellinis? Huh? Yeah, they're little ears. Ear pasta. That's, oh, yeah. that's, I'm not even joking. <laughs> chat, light it up with some ear emojis. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Give me some ears in the chat. Little tortellinis. I'm pretty sure tortellinis are ear-shaped pasta. Like, that's sort of like how you describe it. Like how this is a corkscrew. Mm-hmm. A cavatappi corkscrew. Oh, okay. So we got the pesto cavatappi. If you have the pesto cavatappi mm -hmm. at home, first of all, hey, you know what? Let's take a moment. This is this is one of my favorite dishes. I used to get this actually a lot. So if you have pesto cavatappi, I want you to get your pesto cavatappi and your phone by the screen, and let's take a little selfie. A pesto pesto cava selfie. Yeah. <laughs> pesto cava selfie. Yeah. Top that. Get it. <laughs> get, get, yeah, let's get me and Crazy real close on the tight cam, on the side cam. That's a cleave moment for sure. Take a selfie with us. <laughs> or just screenshot it. <laughs> <laughs> or take a selfie even if you don't have this food. <laughs> now tweet it at me or Instagram me and tag me. Tag me. I want to see you. I truly, actually, I had such a joyful experience after the last... Um, eat the menu, going through and looking at pictures that people had taken. And there was one little video that someone took, I think, I feel like Indonesia, very far away. And she ate a piece of chicken at the same time as me, and it, it almost made me cry. No. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's amazing. Really? Because the whole reason I did this show is I really do want to like connect with the audience, and I want us to eat together. I think it's really cool and a magical experience, and I got to see it. And it really uh, it moved me emotionally to that see you all great. eating with me. It was really cool. So, thanks for being here. Aww. Well, let's take a bite. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to take a little video of you taking a bite of something with me right now, we can take a bite. It's crazy. Oh, God, I'm so hungry. Why do people do this? I don't know. I'm not the first take one. Take another bite. No. Oh, take another God. bite. Okay, let's all take a bite together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Three, wow. two, one. one. Mm. People do this because they're hungry. I know people are hungry, but we're putting on a show. I had that. What was it called again? What? Pesto cavatappi? The, I had the cavatappi and a piece of chicken on the fork for so long. Mm -hmm. And I was like, when is it eating time? I love the cavatappi because it's so springy. It's mm -hmm. like a little spring. It's... Mm. If I, at home, in front of your computer screens or phones, I just want you to make a... <laughs> you don't have to capture the moment on media. It can just be for you. You know, not everything has to be filmed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What do we have? Spring. 
How was your the chicken with the kamatapi was The chicken is divine. So, that's my word, Keith. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had to say it when you were here. I haven't said it the whole stream. You can you know it. You know it's true, audience. I haven't said it the whole stream until Quasi got yeah, here. Yeah, that was a good one. You got me. I was about I, to say I it. did see the ears in the chat, by the way. I want to make sure everybody know I saw the ears in the chat and I thank you for listening. Mm. <laughs> this is This is great. It's great. Oh my gosh. This is good. What, is, what a good show. Ah, it's, it's, and, uh, and this place, where is it? It's like... So it's scattered all around the country. Yeah. Um, there, are, there are five locations in Southern California, but none are super close to us. But they're working on the next couple of years. You might yeah. see them up and down there in There are 467 across the country. 467. Yeah. That's a number. Becky mentioned to me that they we uh, have this like in the Midwest. Oh, yeah. We used yeah. to... Like, this was such a common Habersburger dinner. Because it was like so easy, everyone could choose whatever they wanted. Mm -hmm. It was very filling. We all could have leftovers. I remember I would go to the one in Naperville, in downtown Naperville, DT Nape. No one called it that. <laughs> but um, in downtown Naperville, and you'd go to the bookstore, and then you'd go and see if anybody was hanging out at Noodles, and then you'd go get some ice cream. And it was it was a vibe. No DT Nape. Picturing mm -hmm. <laughs> nine year old Keith uh. saying that. I wasn't nine in Naperville. I was seventeen. Mm -hmm. No, I was nine in Tennessee. Mmm. <laughs> wow. All right, we got another pasta. That good. was really good, though. Really great. And the chicken especially. I really enjoy the chicken. Very, very good. So this is tortelloni, not Tor tortellini. Tortelloni. Oh, tortelloni. no shape pasta. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think it is. Um, tor what's tortelloni? Talk to me. Never heard of that what's before. What's tortelloni? What's tortelloni? I, I don't know. Pop what is tortelloni? No. Anyone in the chat? Tortelloni? I got a couple people saying, hell yeah, Naperville represent. That DT. bookstore is my favorite. Anybody here saying DT Nape? <laughs> DT Nape! DT Nape! <laughs> DT Nape! <laughs> oh, wow. People are saying they've been to that noodles in DT Naperville. Uh, great. We got some people from Deer Park, Illinois. Probably got a lot of Illinois folk around here. In the house? Because we got a lot of noodles in Illinois. Tortelloni is just big ass tortellini. Wow, Dang. I love big ass tortellini. It tortelloni. It's larger and with the extremities oh, closed shit. differently. You're oh. so right. It is huge. Yeah. This is like a fortune cookie is pasta. This is, yeah, big. <laughs> it actually is shaped almost like a fortune cookie. It's fortune cookie pasta. All right, let's get the tortelloni nice in smoke. our mouths. Mm. Everybody, let's eat it together. Here we go. Mm. Not bad. Good. That is rich. Mm. That is indulgent. Just put me in a bed, cover me in blankets, and then pour <laughs> cheese all over me. <laughs> That's what it's like. You paint quite the picture. I do. Well, it is heavy, but so luxurious. And there's zucchini in here for a little bit of freshness. It's, oh, I didn't taste the zucchini. Look mm -hmm. at that. See? Mm. This little zucchini piece? Not bad. Mm. Not bad. Good. Very good. Get over here, you I dig mug. It. I dig it. <laughs> I, I can't kiss it. <laughs> I dig it. <laughs> that is a good one. I got to give Keith a kiss over there. That is good. Mm -hmm. I love how rich it is. I love how salty it is. I love how creamy. I love how cheesy it is. Wow, that's good. It's, yeah, it's, 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 soup, it's filling. Yeah. It's, it's like, indulgent. It's always like I, I can definitely uh, half of this, then the next half of the uh -huh. for dinner again. It's heavy. This is it's heavy. This is my favorite though. This, you like that oh, one? See, this, I like this one. This one is. I like how heavy it is. Yeah. I feel like I'm eating cheese filled pillows. You like cheesy stuff? I do, but it oh. doesn't like me. So I know it gives me the bubble guts. <laughs> I love, I love holidays. You sacrifice. Mm. This is really good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness, yeah. Legit, I love this. I love the Look mushrooms too. This. I'm a big creamy mushroom boy. I love mushroom pizza. I like mushroom pasta. I like mushrooms. I didn't taste the mushrooms yet. Look at that. I like them all. That's a good, That's a good mushroom. Um, this is really good. I, I, is anyone else eating this at home? Do you like it? Because I'm loving it. I want to know. Does anybody, anybody else get the tortelloni, the big tortellini? Because I loved it. Sometimes we're, like people are feeling good. People want. People are loving them. They're having fun. You got 13,003 people here. Woo! That's a lot of people. Hot dog. Hot dog. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti. <laughs> Quasi, what's going on with you, buddy? I'm great. You know, I've been moving around a lot. 
Just got back from Africa. Oh, yeah. I went to Ghana. Yeah. Had a good time. Nice. Yeah. Um, now I'm back. Yeah. Ready to make it happen, 2023. Yeah, you've been. I've seen you every day hey, this week. That's not a bad thing. Oh, it's a great thing. You know? I love seeing you every day. You know, it's, it's a not, joy. I can't. That can't be a bad thing at all, Keith. Mm-mm. You know. Mm-mm. I'll say seeing myself every day. Mm-hmm. Do you see the happiest? Your, but do you see yourself every day? You know what I mean. I try to I try to look at a uh, one mirror shot of myself every day. It's like, yeah. look at you, kid. Mm-hmm. Look at you. Look, look at How you, kid. How are you doing? Yeah, you look, look. Look at you, kid. Do some dope stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, That's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. You want ready for some trivia? Let's go for it. Time to ask a little question. A little, uh, a question for your noodle. Noodle on this. Can you right. say that before you say the question? Can you say noodle on this? Noodle on this, okay. boys. Yeah, when like was that. the first noodle made and where? <gasps> okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Let's think. Ooh. It definitely. You know that China says it's them. Uh-huh. And it definitely could be them. Right. It might not be them, but definitely China is like, yeah. it was us. Because China has just got the oldest historical record that I they, think so. they, they've kept. So I'm going to say China. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I say, oh, I'm, t- I'm torn. I, th- I think it's, uh, if it's Italy. I'm gonna it's blow Italy. A gasket. I'll just say Italy. I'm going to blow a gasket. And when? 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 Oh, gosh. Ooh. Probably. Noodles are old, like the uh, <laughs> so old. I mean, basically, as long as they've been processing grain, I would, I would say, well, if Jesus had bread. Yeah. Then, uh, we know that two thousand years ago, people were baking. So, how long before that were they baking? I would say like six thousand BC. <laughs> six thousand BC. I'll say the Genghis Khan era. Because people have been around a long time. You don't that know this. People have okay. been around. Way longer than you think. Well, it was 4,000 years ago in China. China! 4,000 years ago. I almost went with 4,000. I was like, I'm going to go further. <laughs> I'm going to really? go way further. Because, yeah. you know, it's, and it's still possible I'm right. They might find a noodle fossil here that dates even later. That some, a someday. noodle fossil? A noodle what fossil. What shape would that be? Probably Kawatapi. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like, 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 because what was this? Tortelloni? The other uh-huh. one's tortellini? Probably tortellini. Ooh. Mini yeah. tortellini. Real, mini yeah. filling pasta. Turtle teenies. Uh, they awesome. actually made the noodles out of turtles. What? <laughs> I think, I think, like, okay. you, you, we're missing out on the, to me, my best, the second best part of pasta is seeing it like being made. Oh. <sighs> Like that mm-hmm. is just like beautiful Breaking process. Breaking it through the noodle Have thing. You ever yeah, made and it? different. Have you ever made your own pasta? No, I've <gasps> watched it before. Wow. I, I, I would, would, wouldn't dare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like we should make a special video called Crazy Makes Pop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We said yeah. Crazy to Pasta School. Oh, that would be so great. And we like put you through like a week training of pasta. And then like you go through a pasta test where I say, I want Kavatapi. And you have an hour to make it for me. Let's make it happen. Hell and yeah. Hashtag Quasi Makes Pasta in the comments chat. <laughs> Shout it up. I'm fully in. Yeah, well, we're excited. Well, Quasi, thanks for coming by. Thank you, Keith. So, always good to hang. Boom. Bow. What was it? What is this? What are we doing? Wow. Make sure you follow Quasi on the internet. He's Boom. a wonderful guy. <laughs> so happy to have him here. You. Yeah. And now it's time to take to the chat. How's the chat doing? How are we feeling, chat? How are, how are we feeling, chat? I'm gonna look at, we got Elijah here. We got Posted Alia here. Wow, that place where that bowl last was, this part of the table, searing hot. <laughs> that bowl is hot. The table's hot. <laughs> like I can put my hands here and stay warm all winter long. Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm having so much fun this time, guys. It's been so long since we did this. It was all, it was all last year, a year. We turned the cal. You've thrown out your old calendars. You put up new ones. Maybe you've got a sexy horse calendar. Maybe you've got a, f- a calendar of kittens in, in flower baskets. I don't know what your calendar looks like, but some of the most popular ones are sexy horse calendars. They don't say they're sexy horses, but there's no denying those horses could get it. So you know, thanks for thanks again for being here. I'm so excited to have you. We got some more people coming, and guess who's coming up next? Someone very important to me, hopefully important to you too, because I hope that you, I hope you like us. I hope you like us. And I hope you like this person, because I sure like them a lot. Please welcome my wife, Becky Abersberger! Back and cheese. 
mac and cheese, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Originally, mac and I wasn't going to do the mac and cheese, and then I sent an email. And then now <laughs> it's all I'm doing. Maggie's here for one dish. Yes. Mac and cheese. Smell it. Uh, it smells. Uh, it smells like college. It almost smells like buttered popcorn. Oh my god. It is so buttery and cheesy. I've it is... missed it. I've missed this. It has, I already know the texture. There's like a creamy cheese, then there's shredded cheese on top. Oh yeah, I'm stirring it up. The noodles look perfect. You stir yours? I, st I love, because I want Blasphemy. All... No, 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 I like to stir it. I'm going to do a half and half. Oh my god. So it you're looks... a half blast? You're a half blast blasphemer? You just called me a blasphemer, and then you did the exact same thing with just half of it. Well, because you were doing it, it was peer pressure. <laughs> you didn't have to do it. I didn't want I to just, be peer pressure. I pressured. like to do it. Wow. Oh my god! It wow. smells just like heaven. It wow. it drips. Oh. It stretches. It steams. Oh, can we get a close up on the drips? So look at. Oh, can you see the strings too? The drips. Oh. The strings. Oh, the noodles, they fall. They hold on to each other. It's so good. Wow. <sighs> All right, everybody who's got mac and cheese, hold it up as high as you can. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous. It's dripping. And let's eat it in three, two, one. Wow. It is still so good. Wow, the cheddar flavor oh my God. in particular is strong. You can taste the multiple cheeses. You can, but I can taste the cheddar. I can taste, uh, I can taste, wow. It's wow. so good. Mm, lordy me. Lordy, lordy, lordy me. I used to only eat this lordy in me. college. And as a child, when I was vegetarian, this let's get lordy vegetarian me in the reach, veg let's, girly. Let's get lordy me in the chat. I'll get in after this. Lordy me in the chat. It's like perfectly salty <sighs> and like cheesy mm. and good. Mm, yeah. It's so good. Mm, it is really good. <laughs> I assume everyone at home got the mac and cheese. Like that is the star mm. of noodles. It's tough when you see mac and cheese on a menu not to get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's one of those things where I see it and I'm like, well, I don't want that to be my only meal, but maybe we'll get it for the table. Like, we got mac and cheese at a restaurant the other day. Like, it's just don't hard not to get it. Don't spill our secrets. Well, we got, we got a little, little Don't spill cheese. our third meal secrets. <laughs> we got one to share. Mm. To remind you that you're breaking bread with one another. You're sharing. Part of a good meal is sharing. Ma'am, mm. these noodles are, like, cooked perfectly, They too. are actually they're like perfect, perfect cooked noodles. Perfect. So. Do you ever, anyone out there like me, you put the little noodles on your little fork things, you try to fill them up. Do you guys ever do this? Oh, wow. You put them, you put them on, you slide them into your little fork tendrils. My you, toddlers do that. Yeah. That it's, seems like too much work. Toddlers do it. it. 35 year olds do it. Oh. It's one of those great things anybody can do. Cause if you see how that one fell off, well it wasn't on the spike, but these, they can't fall off, they're on the spike. See, I like getting the creamy with the shredded when you don't mm. start it because it's a textural experience. It is really good. Becky, how have you been? What's going on? Oh, she's really lost in the Oh, God, that sauce. tomato lost on me. In the sauce. Lost in the cheese sauce. Oh, one drop. I've been good. You've been good? I got my first nosebleed of my whole life today. Mm -hmm. Whole life. Woke up with it. Woke up. I thought my nose was dripping. I went like this. No, I was bleeding. Keith did not react in an appropriate fashion, I would say. As somebody who had a lot of bloody noses as a child, <laughs> because uh, I don't know why, I just did. I had bloody noses all the time. But it wasn't get punched in the face. My face was just punching itself, I suppose. I did get punched in the face once, and I got a bloody nose that time. But I also got bloody noses just because. Maybe it's because it was dry. Maybe it's because of the allergies. And also, though, my brother's also got bloody noses. So I think it's just sort of Habersburger thing. So I got bloody noses. I remember one time, <laughs> My nose started bleeding while I was driving home. It started bleeding so profusely that I had to pull over <laughs> because blood was gushing out of my face like a faucet. And I, I was like, how is it bleeding like this? Nothing happened. It was cold. I remember it being very cold. So it was probably the air was so cold. It made my, I don't know, my nose crack on the inside. And I, so I like, I stopped. I was like, I don't have any napkins in here. So you know what I did? I just took off my shirt and held it to my face as I drove home. So I was driving home shirtless in the winter with a bloody t-shirt. I'm sorry I brought this up. I'm so sorry. That's one of the times my nose bled. 
Well, my blood stays in my body for the most part. Not mine. Mine's always trying to get out. <laughs> Mine's always trying to get on some tissues and go in the garbage. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's what happens. You sit, you know, you know, you twirl it up, you jam it up in your nose, and you walk around until it dries up and stops. I'm not exactly sure how a nosebleed stops. Science. Like, where's the blood coming from? Your brain. I'm just think about it though. Cleat. Think about okay, no, but think about this. When you cleat, cut when please. you cut your finger, some blood comes out. When you have a bloody nose, it's like six or seven ounces of blood. I'm like how, what is happening? Where is it coming from? How am I not fainting? Anyhow. Listen. <laughs> cleat. Should Listen, we move to cleat. trivia? Women do this. All I the get same that women time. also have <laughs> issues with blood. But not out of their face. And they, they let... That was my first face blood. That was my first face blood. And okay. not a it was tampon in sight. Okay, That's let's move on to trivia. Bleed. You just... Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a sports thing. Well, I know. Let's get to trivia. Okay. <laughs> I saved a good one for Becky. Fake noodle on this. Oh, my God. I'm... Okay. Becky, this is not yeah. a trick question. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not a Jeopardy Rachel, way. you got to start it. We better be starting it with Noodle on this. Okay, Becky, Rebecca, yeah. uh -huh. Noodle on this. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> You're not going to like what comes next. This is only for Becky, not oh, okay. for me. What is the length of the longest noodle in the world? Noodle on this. Noodle the... on this. It's not a trick question. No. So it's probably not like an extremely long noodle. I would say average noodle is like what? This? <laughs> I think that's like an average noodle. Yeah, I mean, anyway, except think about when we, when we get big plate chicken, the noodles like. Yang Yang. Yang Yang, yang Man is really. I feel like Yang Yang's long. It's the actually size like. Size of this table, whatever this is. <laughs> table six size. Six inches. I mean, feet. 30,000. Well, like six inches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say. Six. She said it. Uh, no, I didn't, no, I... no, no. Six inches is not it. I no. was saying you the said table six feet. Was oh, six this is six feet. feet. Yeah, okay. no, it's longer than that. Yeah, it's probably like okay, 600. It is a trick question. It's long. First it's a trick, now it's not a trick. <laughs> my, noodles, trick? my noodles are broken. What's the trick? <laughs> um, no, I think not. it's... I think Becky just misinterpreted what I said. Sorry. What is the my answer? A 15 feet. 600 feet. 1.9 miles. Damn, that's a big noodle. Where did it go? I don't know. The camera wasn't on me, but I was really playing hard to that side camera. So let's try it one more time, oh. Jack. <laughs> Damn, that's a long noodle! We do instant replays here, but they're actually, um, I have to do them. Horrifying. Yeah, that's a cleat for <laughs> Well, how do you cook a Could mile you do long something noodle? something in slow motion for us? Yeah. Let me try this next bite in slow motion. It does sound so like a cow. <laughs> now that's a bird. How about that? I don't like watching it there. Yeah, it was delayed. like a lot seeing it live and now seeing it over yeah, there. Yeah, we're on a delay over here. It's too much. I'm so sorry, audience. That's pretty fun. I'm so sorry for what he's done. Okay, I can't have any more mac and cheese or I'm going to explode because I know the next section is more mac and cheese. Oh, that's true. I'm going to explode. I feel good, though. I mean, like, up here I feel good. Down here I'm starting to feel less good. Mm -hmm. That's only because of the quantity, not the quality. The quality's high. The quantity is also very high. <laughs> it is a star. It is a star dish. Mm. Well, Becky, what, what else is new with you? What do you want to leave our audience with? Any, any wisdom? Any wisdom? What is Becky's wisdom? Wishes for wisdom. What is Becky's When you get wisdom? a nosebleed, you pinch your nose. And you tilt up. And you're supposed to tilt up, but then you won't be able to send a good picture to your friends when you say, first nosebleed. But don't tilt up too much, because then all the nose, all the blood will run down your throat and you'll just be drinking blood. Well, Becky, thanks for dropping by. Thanks. Great to have you as always. Oh my God, thank you for, this was you're so welcome. the greatest gift I've ever received, I think. Wow, I'm a bad husband. 
All right, well, thanks for being here, honey. I'll see you later. Have fun. Bye. I'm going to go hang out with Matt and Eugene and Maggie and Zach. Okay, tell Have them hi. Have fun at work. Tell them hi. I'm at work. Yeah. Whoa. Celebrity cameo sighting, Desiree. Gross. <laughs> Desiree, celebrity cameo. <laughs> celebrity cameo sighting. Did you guys see Desiree? Did you guys see Desiree? Oh my gosh, how did we get her? Wow, this is a quick walk on roll. Anyhow, we're waiting on the next thing. I think next is more mac and cheese. So if you've got mac and cheese at home, you've got mac and cheese at home. Because we're about to have mac and cheese right here, too. we got mac and cheese, and this time it's got protein. What's that mean? Let me get you close, my friend. It's some protein. It's chicken, I think. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is chicken. Wait, these mac and cheese look different. They are different. These mac and cheese look super different. Who's, is, well, okay, everybody. Put your seat belts on. Put them on. If you don't have a seatbelt nearby, grab a, a long sleeve shirt, sit on it, put the arms over it, tie it up. You're gonna want a seatbelt for this because next up is the guest who sometimes is home, sometimes comes back. But either way, he's here today. He's here to stay. It's Jared Bobkin. Woo! Papa's home, baby. The bitch is back, baby. Am I saucy enough in this? Because cool. I feel super dripped down. You look What's cool. Up? You look cool. What's up? Fasten up, baby. I like that whole intro. Yeah. Are those oh, Becky hey. sunglasses? Whose sunglasses are those? I stole them from a counter. Wow. So oh. I don't know. Yeah, they look cool. Yeah. You look cool. I feel incredibly cool. You look dope as hell. I look like my own breakdance unit. You do. <laughs> you look like you could be on Wild and Out. Oh, I should have my own Wild and Out episode. You look like you are on Wild and Out right now. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, oh. let's have some more mac and cheese, please. Oh, are we doing mac and cheese for me? Oh mac God. me, baby. Now, here's a really good moment where we get to see just how variety-esque the menu can be. Yo, because this obviously, is we just have mac and cheese. This is a different looking mac and cheese. It's got a different protein. It's got all these green onions on it. So everything's very customizable here at Noodles. They have, it's very, it's at tr their phrase is uncommon goodness, but I do feel like it's uncommon to have this variety of goodness at a restaurant. It smells really it good. It smells really good. I love the freshness of those green onions. No, this, this actually does smell really yeah, good. Yeah, you have buffalo mac and barbecue chicken. <laughs> buffalo chicken mac. And barbecue chicken mac. These are things I would order. Yeah. This oh, is I'm a excited. mac attack. This is a mac attack. But we're going to start with the buff or the barbie? Up what to you, you daddy. Let's start with the buff. All right. Let's and do here's it. why. Okay. The buff is going to be spicy. Ooh, so let's here. do that first, and then hopefully I can cool down with the barbecue. Yeah. Ooh. Buff. Here we go. Buffalo chicken. They should call it buff chicken. I'll buff your chicken. Buff chicken. Chicken in the buff. I'll buff your chicken. That's, it's funny how many different uses for buff there are. Like, you, if you're buff, you're strong, but if you're in the buff, you're naked. You could buff a car. You could buff a car. You could buffer as a video. Bruce you could, buffer. You could put a buffer between you and something you don't want to hit. I don't want to buffer myself from this food, though. Nope. I want to eat that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. How much have you eaten? Too many things. Because I kept oh. eating it as if I didn't have a dish coming. Oh, no. Yeah, I did one of those again. Is it good? Is it real good oh, so yeah, far? I'm okay. Everything. Okay, let's do it. Do you, think you're food drunk? I get, you know, I actually looked up on the internet okay. that there is a thing. When you get too full, your brain releases basically the stuff that you release when it's trying to put you to sleep. Because my body's saying, Keith, you're too full, you should stop. So it's literally trying to make me fall asleep right well, now. Well, Keith, it ain't sleepy time. Hey, Jared. Jared, your necklace Jared, is necklace dang, you dang, dung. You got to. What do I need to do? You got to take gotta, it off. Or, but it's saucy. Or, or, or drip it down further. Drip it down? The problem is, yeah, it's got to be all the way down. I stole this entire costume from around your office. Yeah, I know okay. what this chain is. This chain <laughs> is from, I'm YouTube. the king of YouTube. Yeah, it this has a YouTube. My, this is my YouTube <laughs> chain. Yeah. I got it for winning a scavenger. Is it still hunt. messing everything up? No, it's good now. My drippy it's drip? only when it drips up to the microphone. I didn't even feel it. Then it touches it. the microphone, and then the audience can hear that, and nobody likes it. Well, hang on. Let me let me hit you with that moment again. Hey, Keith. Yeah. What did you say before? Oh. It's not sleepy time. It's party time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're talking about? I think we are talking about. I don't oh. think I said that. Let's party though. But I should have. <laughs> Let's try the buffalo mac and cheese. Let's give it to me. Oh, hell yeah. 
Dude, I'd order this. Mm -hmm. I do love hot sauce and mac and cheese. Especially buffalo sauce and mac and cheese. Yeah. Now that's a buff that'll make you buff, even if you're in the buff and you're buffing your car. Wait, this is super good. Yeah. Yeah, super good. Buff. Am I confused? Because I'm confused in the sense of, usually I, I eat it, I'm like, oh, it's good enough. Oh, it's I good. could eat this whole thing. I, I get now why you're a little full. I know, because I keep eating it because it's good. The problem this is This is legitimately good. very good. Like, if I were out of Noodles & Co., I think this is exactly what I want. I mean, this is definitely one of the things I would get. I'm a buffalo chicken, can we say bad words? Mm. I'm a buffalo chicken boy. You already uh, said, you <laughs> said bitch when you entered. Oh yeah, I'm a buffalo <laughs> chicken bitch. I'm a ranch bitch. In general, I am. Sorry, Mama Rachel. It's Noodles, okay. Noodles & Company, they're cool. I like it. I really, really they're like this. Cool. They're, they're, they're loving it. And show. it's not that spicy. Did you know News & Company, they put me all over their website. I'm, we're like, kind of dating. Ooh, congrats, yeah. dude. That's exciting. <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, I'm excited for you. I've dude. never been so embraced by mm. a brand before. I'm, I love noodles. Normally, they pretend like they don't see Normally us. They pretend like they don't even know who I am. But they they, inter they interact with people yeah. who like tag yeah. me, but they don't interact yeah. with me. Like they tag me and the other and the food brand, and then they'll only respond to that person, but not me. They'll pretend I'm not there. I'm right there. I can see you. He's right there. He's wide awake. Am I a ghost to you? You're not a ghost to me. I'm not. You're like a really. I'm a real boy. Boy, you're a real. <laughs> you're a really cool boy to me. I'm a really cool boy. You guys like this saucy drip? I don't think I'm ever gonna take this off. Can we talk about that? So it's are you here stealing here. all of this from our office? Oh, one thousand percent. It's good that you have this. I won't steal the glasses because I think those are real people's glasses. I think so too. It's good that you have this saucy drip for the meal that has such a saucy so drip. How about that? That's why you guys pay him the big bucks. Yeah. I also am the one who pays me. Oh, really? <laughs> you pay you the big bucks? Uh huh. That's what happens. <laughs> what is this barbecue? What? I think it's chicken, but it's got some sort of mm -hmm. onion straw. Oh, they're crispy onions. Crispy onions on top. That was legitimately so good that I'm like very excited for I this. I know. Also, it smells like we're at, a, we're at an old South barbecue joint right now. Ooh. The smell of the sauce is strong. It is like. Yeah. Like smoky barbecue yep. town over here yep. all of a sudden. I don't know how it became smoky barbecue town, but it's smoky barbecue town. How's everybody doing out there? Let's put some um put some cows in the chat. Oh yeah, throw them cows in there. <laughs> and moo. moo. Put in cows and also say moo. And just say the whole thing. Cows moo. moo. Do it all in one post. And then post again the same thing. Who are we? Cows! <laughs> what do we do? Moo! moo. Moo! We're eating chicken. <laughs> I was thinking that too. Okay, let's try the mac and cheese with barbecue chicken. I want like a real bite though. And the crispy onion straws. Okay, let's go. We got cows. <laughs> oh, we got tons of cows! All right, let's try it. Oh, I already tried it. Okay. This is also really good. How do I do it? This is, this is like legitimately Yo, should I, I be eating this more than pizza? I know, I love this. <laughs> I'm really shocked at honestly, like, because sometimes I think sauces and mac and cheese can be overwhelming, mm -hmm. but this is, it's really good. And all three of these mac and cheese experiences taste totally different. Yo, this is really good. I would legitimately have this again. Mm. I love this. Look at all those moves. Mm. What do you prefer, the buff or the barbecue? It's tough to say. It is tough I to say. I like the buff more, but I think I like the barbecue more. I think I'm going buff more regular, but I think I'm ordering like barbecue intentionally and more excited well, for this time. This really reminds me of the Midwest, because in Chicago there were a lot of bars that did mac and cheese pulled with pork, barbecue nachos. pulled pork too. Yep. And that is my, exactly this. One of my favorite places had a mac and cheese with barbecue pulled pork, and it, this is taking me back to Was that. Was it bar? Oh, well, yeah. One of your favorite places? Yeah. One of my yeah. favorite places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they exist anymore. I think it was, it was Orbit Room. I think they went out of business, so they're not competing with noodles, so I think it's okay. This is really good. <laughs> you know, but they're a cool bar. It was good. Mmm. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what. Move. Not only am I gonna steal the outfit, I'm stealing the food. 
the food we're giving to you. In fact, they made food for our whole office. And in fact, I told them that there would only be like six crew members and they saw on the call sheet a lot more names. So they just brought more food for us. No, I love them. They're so nice. They're very Midwestern in that way. Are they, they from are. Midwest? We're all going to be in the parking no, lot standing next to our cars for 30 minutes trying to go home. <gasps> yeah, they're we'll so do the goodbye tour. We're going to do Midwestern goodbyes like crazy at the end of this. We're gonna be like, well, probably should get going. Yeah, me too. Oh, you know, I, I what was that? Did you see that thing the other night? Oh, I did, yeah. Oh, I wanna be near the friends. Yeah, they're nice. I wanna hang out with these people. Well, Jared, what's up? What else is going on with you? So much is going on. My birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> my birthday's tomorrow. It's the bitch's birthday, everybody. And right now, shout out to my dad. It's my dad's birthday. Right now? Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Mr. Hattiesburger. Yeah. I'm gonna, we're gonna have a little call on Sunday because I'm doing this, so I couldn't call him right now. That's, but uh, wait, is it today? Yes. Oh my yeah, god, it's that's my dad's really birthday. sweet. Happy, happy birthday. birthday, Donald Habersberger. Hey, can we get happy birthday, Donald? Happy birthday, Donald, in the chat with a cow. I'll also take happy birthday, Daddy. Oh, happy birthday, Daddy's favorite Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's favorite <laughs> birthday is also acceptable. Yeah. Well, tomorrow's mine. Haber's We're gonna daddy. have so much Ooh, fun. Ooh, Haber's daddy. Haber's daddy. Haber's daddy. That could be you too. Haber's daddy, daddy, daddy. Yeah, daddy, daddy. Yeah. Well, uh, we got, okay, y'all, they're coming in now. The lag for me, but I see them now. It's Listen, nice to see it. I just want to say, I love this little vibe. And I I, uh, I love our little homies watching and having dinner with us. I know. This it's is great. like the best dinner you could draw up. It's been like the... I'm very grateful for you We basically had about 13,000 people this entire time. 13K? You're my favorite 13K ever. You've been the best, <laughs> coolest 13K ever. It feels like all 13K of us are sitting right just, here right now. It's so beautiful. It's so yeah. wonderful. It's so nice. Hey, shout out to the 13K, you heard me? 13K. Yeah. I feel really cool in this outfit. You are cool. Do I do I look cooler than well, I Well, you've said it enough where we have to believe you at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's me projecting. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jared, thanks for hopping by. Happy thanks birthday tomorrow. Me. Yeah, I'm stoked, guys. We got a big birthday planned. Hey, this was fun. This was fun. And I had you a blast. Fly as fuck. I kind of want to take this, though. Take them. Okay. Take them. They're for you. All that's right. your That's your bag of cheese now. Hey, Papa loves you. Noodle on this. Noodle on this. Ooh. Yeah, we've, we've, I've said it many times. Noodle on this is it's a It's not a new one. one. I, I wrote it down last night. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't burp in your face, Desiree. I burped all the way over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I'm full. How are you doing out there, audience? How are you doing? This is much more like what it's like when I do eat the menu, because I get way too full. And then this kind of glory, this in-between stuff, we miss it entirely. And look at that, Brian's here. <laughs> and what a, that was a seamless transition if and, I've ever seen one. What a glory. Now that you're food drunk, you can get real drunk. Yeah! What do we got here, b -Well? So I, I've brought some classic Negronis. Oh! Yeah. So uh, I like to have a Negroni before a meal. Uh, even during and then sometimes, so whenever. Like an aperitif? Yeah, it's an aperitif. It's a, it's a bitter cocktail. Uh, it has Campari, which is made from orange peel, so that's where you get the bitterness from. Mm -hmm. Then we have sweet vermouth, and then gin. And the, the thing is, is I think it's very important that you actually have an orange peel in your cocktail and express the oils from your orange peel, so then it gets it that brightness, and then you're, you're feeling good, and it makes you hungry. It's bitter, and it makes you want to eat something with it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take a sippy? I want to take a sippy. Let's have a sippy. Cheers. Cheers, and in and out there, if you're drinking anything, whatever you got, water, a cocktail, coffee. <laughs> coffee is awful late. Cheers to you. Cheers. Oh. Clink, clink, Cheers. Clink, 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 clink. Cheers. Oh, yeah, there we go. Jesus, that was dangerous. Who's for camera, everybody? Wow, that so, is bitter. It has got some bitterness to it. <laughs> you, Jack, get a good close up yeah, on Jack. It's a bitter Jack, one. Jack does Jack not like a bitter drink. Jack back there is not his favorite. Yeah. <laughs> That's not his favorite drink. Yeah. It's a Negroni is a bitter drink. So when Honestly, uh, it's not my favorite drink. It's yeah. too bitter for me. Yeah. But it is kind of interesting to, to have right after such like intense, bold, sweet, and spicy flavors to go total opposite end of the spectrum and basically eat an orange peel as a liquor drink. Yes. It's delicious. It's, oh, I'm so glad you like it, Rachel. Look, I think it is a correctly made one of these. This is just not my drink. Yeah. But I'm going to drink it. You I, know why? 
because my friend made it for me. That's a great pal right there. Mm -hmm. That's a great pal. And I want you guys to know, if you're making your Negronis at home, make sure you buy yourself a nice vermouth. That, that means you need to spend more than $10 on your vermouth. I'm sorry, but you do. You, you, you deserve to spend more on yourself. You deserve a vermouth that's nicer than 10 bucks. You know what always helps? That a little bit of long time justification math. Yeah. Do that quick. Well, I'm gonna make 8,000 drinks with it. Yeah. So each drink is only gonna cost a two panties. And, and when you open your vermouth, I, I have to tell you, vermouth, unlike the rest of your liquor, vermouth goes bad. Uh-oh. So you need to put it in your refrigerator. Uh -oh. And keep it in the fridge. It'll last for three whole weeks. Three weeks. That's not very long. It's, but you know what you do? You gotta if have you, Negroni one. If you, if you have not finished all your vermouth, at the end of those three weeks, you can use it to deglaze your pans and make sauces. Oh! That's what I do. Wow! Yeah. De Deglazing is a process where you add alcohol or vinegar straight to a hot pan that has a bunch of gunk on it. Yeah. If you're cooking beef, throw your sweet vermouth on there, then just scrape it off, throw some mushrooms in, then you have a great mushroom sauce. You know how you make barbecue sauce? By deglazing a pan. Yes. And then adding ketchup. Yes. <laughs> I'm serious. Is, he's right. It's he's vinegar, exactly brown right. sugar, and ketchup. He's exactly That's the right. secret. Yeah. That's the secret. And it's usually somebody who just had not enough Negronis. Yeah. And they just used the rest of their vermouth. To, to make that beautiful barbecue sauce. Well, we got some delicious desserts. I'm so excited. As you've really become our dessert captain. I'm, I'm happy to be that captain because when we have the bitter drink, it goes great with the sweet That's stuff. That's true, I bet it will. Where do you want to start? I mean, I, we, I feel like we have to start here. Yeah. Look at the size of these things. Mm -hmm. This looks like an 80s cell phone. Hello? Yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah, I need deals. I need oh, deals. Oh, Stock I, market's going up. Stock uh, market's going down. Uh -oh. It's going down a lot. Uh -oh. It's the 80s. It's uh -oh. going down. Oh, no. <laughs> I am so sorry. It's not going well for yeah. us. This is huge. Yeah. Do, do you guys see how big this is? <laughs> it's the size of my face. I, it's, it's great to see a solid right triangle in my dessert. It is nice. We don't really see a whole lot of right triangles in yeah. our desserts, you know? And, and I, think, I think the right triangle is my favorite of the triangles. Isosceles. Equilateral. Mm, no. Yeah. It's all about the right triangle. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's try the let's right triangle. Mm. That's good. Yeah. It's huge. Who could eat this? Who Noodle, could eat noodles? This? Come on. You know, I, I, I was watching and I heard Becky say this reminds her of college. You know who could eat this? Uh, A college student. Yeah, you're right. This would be like your whole meal. This is learning fuel. I do feel like a mouse and I've got myself a big old chunk of cheese that I'm going to nibble on all night. <laughs> I'm going to pair this Rice Krispie treat with my Negroni. You know, it's awesome. <laughs> you, you're starting to resemble a Muppet. Huh? In, starting to. In an upsetting way. <laughs> I, wow, that's really, I'm seeing the replay right now. I am hilarious. I'm, I'm a funny guy, huh? Talk about this shows out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Every so often I get a little carried away and I almost inhale all this stuff and like almost choke to death and I don't. That was one of those moments you didn't even see it. I have to say, I'm so <laughs> glad you haven't choked on any of these Eat the Menu challenges. That would be one of the most upsetting things ever is to watch Keith choke. <laughs> watch Keith choke live! <laughs> That'll be the next one. It'll be choke with Keith. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I want to, because then I can't make a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> this is about the series longevity. Eat with Keith. I wonder what else you could do with Keith. Party with Keith. Sing with Keith. What if we did a sing along show? You could do you all no. I'll write all the songs, and everyone will learn them. I think you could do a travel show called Leave with Keith. 
and then you'd leave. Just go leave. somewhere. I show up at your house. <laughs> hey, come with me. Let's get out of here. I did do one episode <laughs> once of a show that was called Can I Come With You, where I found people on the street and asked if I could come out, hang out with them, and I put up a, like, a talk show in the living room. It's a really wonderful video. You should watch it. It's on BuzzFeed. It's called Can I Come With You. I think it was like, can I get strangers to let me in their house? I don't was remember it, what it was. Was that how you met Marissa? No, that was the Twitter adventure. That was the Twitter That's adventure. That's how I met the Johnny guy. John, oh. All right, let's have some cookies. <laughs> let's go with the uh, Snickerdoodle? Yeah, let's do Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. The Snickerdoodle. The Snickerdoodle cookie. Snickerdoodle. 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 <laughs> Is that what it's actually called? People have been calling that out the whole night. I think it's a thing. The Snoodle Doodle. The Snoodle Doodle. It seems infamous. I'm going to taste the little bunny. Get a close up on Keith. The, no, 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 the no, Keith no. logo art is amazing. It's good. I I was so excited that Jared put all the merch on. That is the, wow. the cutest stuff. It smells real buttery and good. Oh, I took a bite. It's okay. Everyone does. People can't resist on this show. If you've got a snickerdoodle, hold mm. it up right now and then put it right in front of your face <laughs> so that you can't see your face. Mm. Your whole face gets covered in cookie. It's cookie face. Snoodle doodle. I feel like a snoodle doodle. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll take a bite of it. Mmm. Mmm. I'd say it's it certainly lives up to the hype, Rachel. It's a good. Snoodle. Yeah, it's good. Look at the bottom too. There's like pockets of just sugar. What is it? Caramelized sugar. They feel like little, yeah, what are they? Little pockets of flavor. Oh, there's a little bit of cinnamon in there, too. Sugar pockets. Sugar pockets. Like those magicians who have sugar in their pockets. Mm. You know that magic trick? The guy's got <laughs> You guys know the magic trick where the guy, he like puts a little sugar in his hand and then like lots of sugar comes out of his hand? How does that, how does he do that? I assume he must have sugar in his pockets all the time. Well, magicians are fun because magicians always have a trick on them. Yeah. When someone says that they do magic, say you can say, oh, do a trick. And not, not with a comedian. A comedian's like out of a comedy. They're like, oh, tell me a joke. And they, no. But, but a magician, a magician says, I'm a magician. You can say, show me a trick. They would love to. <laughs> 100%. They would love to. Yeah. They've magicians, got tricks. They've always got something. They're always ready. So oh, I, I did look at what the, what those um, bits are. Yeah. It's toffee. Toffee? Yeah, it's toffee. Toffee. I looked it up on the ingredients list. It's some toffee. And boy, toffee, toffee so good. I like toffee. I ate a cookie earlier today that had toffee. And it was too much toffee. It was too much that toffee. That was the right amount of toffee. Yeah. Look at the size of this cookie. It's you really know, I, are you more of a soft or a crunchy cookie guy? I like soft cookies. I'm a soft cookie guy, and this is soft. All of these cookies are just have just the right texture for me. If you're a texture person. Yeah, look at look at the bend. Yeah. Look at this. I look at me holding it, it's gonna fall apart just by me holding it. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean it is it is soft, it's decadent. Is this chocolate is it peanut butter too? Or is it just chocolate chunks? It's just chocolate chunk. Just classic. Yeah, you're right. There's no peanut butter in there. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was. I think the Mac and cheese has affected your brain. Mac and cheese. You ate too much. I ate too much. Let's try the cookie. Oh, some of it snuck into my mouth before I was ready. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it like jumped into my mouth. How'd that even happen? Mm. That's good stuff. That's a good cookie. I do love when the chocolate, like when you bite through it, you can hear like a gum when you bite through the chocolate because it's like a little bit thicker. And it kind of like a, a very soft Google. Do you hear it? And this chocolate isn't milk chocolate. It has a little bit of dark chocolate to it. I like that. It goes great with the sugar and the butter. I feel like milk chocolate blends in too much with the sugar and the butter. But this darker chocolate is perfect. This is, this is a great finish. There's yeah. some more right triangle business. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay. 
It's just so funny looking. There's something about eating a big old Rice Krispie treat like your tiny little mouse with a big block of cheese. It's just so funny. It's age old saying. Can I eat that? Rice Krispie treats like a mouse eats a big old block of cheese. Old saying, classic saying. I think you're drunk on dairy. Maybe. So we got some trivia up in yeah, here. Can you noodle on this? No, all right, there we go. All right. All right. The average person in the United States eats X amount of pasta per year, and the average person in Italy eats Y amount of pasta per year. What's Whoa. X and Y? X and Y. How many pounds of pasta does the average person eat a year? In, in the U.S.? In the U.S. and in Italy. Hmm. Is, it, is it measured in pounds or grams? Pounds. Half a pound. Pounds? I'm going to say 42 pounds in America. A year? 30 pounds in Italy. I'm, I'm going to go reverse. I'm going to say the average American eats 28 pounds of pasta per year, and the average Italian eats 36 pounds of pasta. The closer answer goes to the king of the Negronis. Wow. Brian Me? Paul. Oh. <laughs> you said it was too bitter for you. It and doesn't mean I can't boy. be a king of a land that I don't care for. Okay. <laughs> Many times kings don't value their subjects. That's sort of why kings aren't around as much anymore. <laughs> you were like, hey, you don't even seem to like me. And they're like, yeah, I don't. Get it back into the muck. That's how kings were back in the day. Yeah, monarchies are not great. Monarchies are not cool. Not a good system. Yeah. Not cool, right. guys. Not cool. The average person in the U.S. eats 15 pounds of pasta per year. Week. To Week. 51 in Italy. 51? Let's go to Italy. Dang, I can't believe they actually eat that many noodles. I thought that was, like, fake. Man, they taste way better there, I have yeah, to say. They do. But what? It, I, but it is you a can't, noticeable difference. But you can't just eat noodles all, all the time. You can't That's a pound a week. They're a, a lot, week. they're a lot better there. They're counting casseroles when we say this in America. They, um, are they recounting egg noodles? Are we counting all the know. types of noodles? Pastapantry.com. Oh, that's a pretty valid source. I'm not gonna go against it. That's a pretty legit source. The Italian just, I don't know. It's something about the water. I don't know. It's yeah. the water. Some in the water. I think it's about stricter FDA regulations over there, and so their food is fresher. Yeah. Or the FDA regulations, that helps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's, you know, every country's different. <laughs> <laughs> they, you know, every country, did they, hey, did they have a monarch more recently than us? We, we didn't have Italy? one. Mm -hmm. Did they have one? Was there kings of Italy? It's, yeah. Yeah, because Rome and stuff. Yeah, but they're like, they're more like a figurehead than a... They were not real kings? Yeah, it's more like a ceremony. Did kings deal. really have those little, little, Scepters? those little wands that were only yeah, like this big with a jewel at the end? Like what were they doing with that thing? You, I mean, <laughs> what would you do with it? You'd point at people? You'd, you'd gesture? Yeah, but like, what are they doing? It's like a big old baby rattle. I mean, it didn't rattle. Right. Unless the jewels were loose. Unless the jewel, yeah. But then it would be then it would be a cheap scepter, and they would yeah, not, they wouldn't be have. a really good king. They'd bring me a new scepter. Yeah. Well, they'd say it in Italian, which I can't speak. Yeah. <laughs> well, Brian, what's going on with you? Oh man. Well, it, it, Wizard of Friendship is a big thing, and then also Mark and I on our podcast, My Favorite Friendship, we've been exploring friendship with a bot. A bot. We did a friendship with a chatbot. We asked the the chatbot GPT uh, about friendship, and spent uh, a, a couple hours just chatting with the chatbot, trying to figure out how far friendship can go with a bot, and how could you possibly have a friendship with a bot? Because they do chat back quite a bit. Which also makes me think of your brother, Brian. That's right, my brother. Brian has a project that you can actually go look at on Twitch. It's called Watch Me Forever. He is part of the people. If you've heard about this forever Seinfeld through bots, my brother is actually one of the developers of that. Isn't that cool? Haversburgers are fucking cool. <laughs> anyway, it's my dad's birthday. It's your dad's birthday? <laughs> it's my dad's birthday, oh, Groundhog oh, Day. And uh, what else <laughs> I was going to say? Well, I was going to say something. Then I forgot. Oh, about how Brian's uh, Forever Seinfeld. No, oh, no, I was going to talk about the movie Megan again. Because you were talking about friendships with a bot. Yeah. And Megan, she was a bot friend. Yeah, she is. 
I, I haven't seen it yet. Have you seen it? I loved it. Yeah, you loved it? <laughs> I thought it was a blast. It was a romp. I, it was a romp. I've always fantasized about having a robot friend since Star Wars. I thought, you know, C-3PO and R2-D2 would be so cool to have a robot friend. So Mark and I, that's part of why we wanted to explore mm. the, the possibilities of friendship with a robot. And, and it was more fulfilling than you'd think. I, I was surprised wow. as to how much I enjoyed chatting with the chatbot. Wow. And and I, I I've seen a little bit of what your brother has made with Forever Seinfeld, and some of those jokes land. Some of them are pretty some dang of those good. Jokes land. Robots are pretty smart. It's it it's wild. Out. I you know, and I, I like to think that as a comedian, I, I my job is safe, but. Who it's knows? not. We're, I can't, all, yeah. we're all in a limited time. That's why we got to do shows live like this, <laughs> so you know that it's real. <laughs> so you can get the real. Robots can't get drunk on food yet. Probably never. Robots can't eat. Not, not pasta at least. Well, Brian, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for having me. This yeah. is so great. Hope to see you guys soon. Hopefully come out to Wizard Come see us in New York and the concert. Brian's opening and doing a set of stand up at the beginning of every concert. So make sure you get tickets to either or both shows now. Right now. Bye, everyone. Bye, Brian. Well, can you believe it? Can you? I'll keep one of these. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Lubberger's coming back. I wonder what they've got in store for us. I wonder what's going to happen. Guys, we have a very special musical guest, Lubberger. So good, you can drink it from a cup. Grab those pots, stick it on up. Keith was a kid, he'd eat there for hours. Oh, to be a kid with that much power. Steak and mac and cheese is what he would devour. Yum, 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 yum. Google is Jewish European. Those meatballs, they were Korean. 350 kinds of noodles in the world. tonight has been. Thank you so much for spending your dinner here with, with all of us here at Tricorp. It was wonderful to have all these noodles slurping and chewing and letting them fly in the air free like birds. Gosh, sure is, gosh, sure is special. Wait, what's that camera angle doing right now? Sure is special to be able to gather. What's that camera doing right now? Sure is special. To gather around your phone or your TV or your computer and I can fucking get that off of there. And then, then just, you know, have some pasta, have some noodles, have a good time. Uh, I really do appreciate you all spending your evening with me. Get that. I saw you flip to it. <laughs> I see your fingers. I see those fingers. <laughs> see, I see that. Get it off of there. Uh, it's so nice of you to spend your night with us. And uh, truly, I do thank you for watching this fun show and allowing us to be able to have a sponsor. Make sure you watch this again, send it to your friends, and every time you have Noodles and Company from here on out, I want you to promise me you'll come back to this video and watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> It'll live on the internet forever. I'm gonna live forever too. And it's uh, great to be able to live here forever with all of you. So let's have a little final cheers. I'm gonna say, think about what my favorite thing was. Well, one of my favorite things is just eating this. This is a joy. 
But also, I was surprised at how much I really did love everything. I hadn't had it in a while, so to be able to revisit all these delicious flavors. The mac and cheese really was a trip. They all tasted so different, but I loved everything. I love that Noodles sponsored us, and I love that Noodles is a great company. They have uncommon goodness in their menus and their business practices. They're really a great company to work for, so they're a great company to support as a customer. You get to eat good food and feel like your money is doing something good. So hold up whatever drink you got, and... Uh, Cheers to all of our guests who came through here. We had Jared Popkin, Brian Wool, Lou Berger, Rome and Cam, Quazy, uh, Becky. Becky, of course. How could I forget Becky? <laughs> Thanks to Rachel, Jonathan, Jack, Chris, Avery, the whole team. It's been a really wonderful day. And thanks, most importantly, to all of you for spending your night with me. I hope you have a wonderful February. And I hope uh, if you're in the New York area, come and see me in person at my show. Until next time, this has been Eat with Keith. Have a wonderful night. Cheers to you. Cheers to me. Cheers to me. <sighs> Bye, everybody. Hey, make sure you head on over to the Noodles Instagram and see if you can't win yourself that shirt and the bucket hat. And take it out with a kiss.